Good morning. This is a semi-brief report on the gold because, you know, gold's moving. Make no mistake. Now, you can see why gold is struggling. If you look at this monthly chart, look how many times, not counting that one, but from the move really at the highs, which is around 1920, down to here, the lows, which were 1046, we have not been able to break above this 38.2. No, we haven't. And believe you me, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months this is tried for. Seven long months out of 24. Now, you can see where the moving average is see them there the little clump so we've got the 21 day average coming in at 1274 we've got the 21 day sorry the nine day coming in as you can see at 1244 so we've got this 23.6 at 1255 so you can see, you you know, the overhead resistance here is quite astounding. Now, obviously, this is a monthly view. We are beginning to turn higher. Oh, there is no doubt. This pattern isn't bullish, but it's it's a monthly chart. So therefore, you know, you just need to know where these large levels are. Now, I wouldn't be comfortable buying gold up here. I'd be extremely comfortable buying gold down here. So let's take a look at the weekly. Apart from this here, down to 11.60 that we saw in August, you know, gold's been quite well behaved. We've closed at the 200 week moving average, which is at 12.34. So we was absolutely just on the level, closing at 12.32. Look at the 50% Fib. That comes in at 12.44. This is the high of July that week. Okay. 16th of July. That's coming in at 12.45. So you have to ask the question, do we have enough? At the moment to break through on the top side with gold look at the indicators our stochastics which is leading is overbought and is trading around the 86 84 the ROC is flat and the RSI is well the RSI is a little bit flat as well so it really is this 12.44 we're looking at going into next week. We've been above the 200-week 200, 200 moving average. But as yet, we haven't been able to break above it. We need to clear this. We've got to clear 12.44 and hold above it. And then there's absolutely no reason. We can't see 12.75 and then 1300 and 1309 now we know 1309 is a level because if you look this is where we come down from okay there you have it there 1309 so just keep that I'm going on to the daily now a typical gold move go down spike close the day up Go sideways. Break. Break that little trend that we saw there. And that trend came in at just about there on the break point. So 12.08. Gold is looking good. I, I have to tell you. The daily stochastics are higher. And still pointing higher. The rate of change is above the zero line. And the RSI does what the RSI does and not does a lot. 
Now, I think we go higher. I think at any dips in gold, you want to be a buyer and you want to be a buyer down to here. OK, so between 1217 and 1208, you are a buyer of gold. OK, the only problem that we're going to have is a close below the 55 moving 55 day moving average coming in at 1206. I don't see that happening. My money's on gold breaks higher. Um, and that would take out 1244 this week. And we make our way, as I said, to either the 200 day moving average, 1269, or this little lovely fib coming in here at 1275. Good luck. I'll catch you next week.